Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, up there on uh, Volcano, on the big island of Hawaii, um, they're having a very large earthquake swarm over the last few days. Um, just today alone, there's been over 92 earthquakes. And there was um, a magnitude, let's see, a 3.3 .3 and a 3.4. See if I can find it down here. Oh, they downgraded the one to a 3.3. .3. Here's an image of the uh, northeast rift zone. And in the last week, there's been over 263 earthquakes. I have been trying to download um, the monitors from this location. I got one here. Um, Devil, I believe it is. And this one right there. P-L-A-D, but it's not giving me the data. Drawn out in purple is the Mauna Tiki Trail that leads down to the um, Hill Nepali Road. Yeah, there's been a dramatic increase in seismicity beneath the East Rift Zone and caldera south of the Halimamu um, continued Saturday night and into today, Monday. As a precaution, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has closed the Helena Pali Road from the Chain of Craters intersection, which is somewhere down here. I don't know if I marked it out. Yes, I did. There it is, right there. But I don't have the... Uh, trails or road in this area marked drawn out in red is the hill in the slump they also have closed overnight use of the backcountry napu and pepio cabins those are also closed for now the usgs volcano alert level for um, kilauea is advisory which means they believe an eruption is not yet imminent Still an eruption either at Kilauea Summit region or beneath the Upper East Rift Zone is a potential outcome for the current activity. There's Kilauea there. Kilauea is an active shield volcano in the Hawaiian Islands and is the most active of the five Hawaiian volcanoes. Kilauea is the most active volcano on Earth. It's on the southern part of the island. The uh, lavas there are about a thousand years old, covering about 90% of the volcano. The oldest exposed lavas date back to maybe 2,800 to 2,100 years. The first documented eruption of Kilauea occurred in 1823, and since that time, the volcano has erupted repeatedly. I believe the last time what was 2020. I have an image here for you about the different magma chambers. This bottom one here is about 80 kilometers in depth, which is about 50 miles. And here we got Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Let me zoom in because this is the one that we're concerned about. And you can see here, um, they measure all earthquakes from sea level. And you can see that the magma chamber, yeah, is right there at the crust of the earth at sea level. And there's an image where the east rift zone is, is at. I used to have drawn out here on my map of all the different lava flows from that eruption. But um, for some reason, my Google Earth reset and so I lost all that data. So once again, we got 94 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. And then we got 265 within the last week. And then for the entire month, 450. You can see there's quite an uptick. Here we have the tilt meter for Kilauea Summit for the past two days. Yeah, it was going down and now it's coming back up. This here is a current image of the rift zone. As of 11.06 a.m. Hawaii time. Yeah, I think they had it in a different location before. Where you could see bushes and things like that. But I believe they moved it. 
24 people felt the earthquake yesterday, the magnitude 3.3. USGS gave it an intensity level of 3. This here is an image of those reports. Um, it just says the national, oh, that one says volcano. And that one just says national park. And that one says volcano. But if we go to this location on Google Earth, you can see it's along the trailhead here. And this is part of the uh, Kilauea's uh, Natural Area um, Reserve. There's also farther up north um, a lava tube that you can tour. Yeah, the magnitude 3.4. They actually downgraded it to a 1.4. Boy, I wish I could get that data to download. That is a big revision. Yeah, are pigs flying there in Hawaii? Well, one of them I did get to start working. So I'm going to download it and take a look at that. Uh, this is at Devil's Throat, this monitor. This here is location of that monitor. So we got the uh, original 3.4, which they downgraded to a 1.4. And the 3.3 is probably the closest monitor I got. Boy, look at those earthquakes. Let me pull it over for you. And I'll bring it down. Okay, let's find that one. I made it a little bit smaller. There's actually two earthquakes there. Yeah, look at the magma. Look at the heat. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Why did they downgrade it? Those of you that got larger computers, you can see it's a magnitude 3.29. Yeah, why did they remove it? All right, let's go over here to this one that's fairly significant. Look at that, 1924 universal time. The last earthquake they're reporting is at 1613. Yeah, would they go home having their coffee morning break? Yeah, the one for 1832 isn't even on here anymore. It's been removed. As you can see right here, 1832. What is going on? <laughs> So this most recent one at 1924, you can see here it's actually two quakes. One ran into the other. Okay. Oops, went off the line. Sorry about that. That would be at least a magnitude 2.90, but I really ended it short. Yeah, I probably should have extended it longer. You can see there's all kinds of popping going on. What's going on with those guys? Okay, what's this one? This one's fairly significant. Let me bring it up for you. Um, at 914 Universal. That would have been, I believe, also for today. They're not reporting that one either. Here we got 908 and 917. Let me bring it over a little bit farther. Which is a 1.8 and a 1.7. Um, zero six kilometers below sea level. What's all the depth on these? What's going on with you guys there? That one there is a magnitude 3.20. I really ended it short. Let me bring it over. See, I ended it right before this other earthquake which is 916. They reported one, what, at 917? 908. Okay, and then they didn't report anything until 1021. Unbelievable. Yeah, magnitude threes. There's at least three magnitude threes, and I haven't gone through them all. Anyways, yeah, what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.